So, hello everyone, Namaste. Today we will solve a basic problem in isometric projection. Coming to the first question, a cone of base diameter 50 mm and height 40 mm is placed centrally on the top of a square slab, side 80 mm and height 20 mm. Draw the isometric projection. So, here in yesterday class we have clearly learned how to draw a square slab and a cone individually. Today we will learn how to draw a combination of these two. So here first when you read a question what you need to understand which solid is resting upon which particular you should clearly make a note. So now in this given question cone is resting on a square slab. We all know how to draw a square slab as usual draw one horizontal line and trace this 30 degree lines and measure this 30 degree and show it. So first is a square slab of 80 mm starting from this point start counting 80, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So after counting this side similarly you count this way 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So after counting this, start counting this particular way 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And similarly from this particular way. So after counting, just draw uh, this particular from this point to the common point intersection. Similarly from this point to this particular Next, similarly, you trace these two lines. So, after drawing this particular, check the height is given as 20 mm. From all the corners, raise the height 10, 20. Similarly, 10, 20. And from this corner, 10, 20. And from this, 10, 20. Now, what you need to do is, Next, from this point to this, you just join this way. So, after joining all these things, what you need to do, as I told in the previous class, in isometric projection, top face is clearly visible, right side face and left side face is clearly visible, and whatever the line comes in between, you can maintain with a thin line or else you can erase it. Proceeding further, you have a look, a cone of base diameter 50 and height 40 is centrally placed on the top of a square slab. Now, you need to understand how to identify the center here. You don't identify the center by drawing the diagonals. I have told in the last session, identify the midpoint of this. If this is so and so 80 mm, so I will mark this for 40 and this for 40. I am joining this with a very thin line. Again, coming to this mark for 40, mark for 40, and draw this thin line. After identifying the center, from the center, this side we have 40, this side 40, this side 40, and this side 40. Now, the diameter of a cone is 50 mm. If it is placed centrally, so 25 will be this side, 25 will be this side, 25 and 25. Now mark this accordingly, have a look, 10, 20, 25 this side, 25, 25, 25. After joining, marking all these things, one thing you need to remember here, please don't draw join randomly like this. When you draw a line, ensure passing through this point, the line should be parallel to this particular 30 degree line. Similarly, this one and this line should be parallel to this 30, I mean to say this one. After drawing this, even this should be parallel to this. So, this is the base part you got. So, now you know how to draw a cone circular part here. As I told, taking opposite point, just join this way. Next, similarly, taking these two opposite points, join this way. Now, keeping this as a center, this as a radius, in the compass you just draw an arc like this. Next, 
with this this point center this as a radius you mark one more curve like this so after drawing this way intersection of this line and this line you have somewhere here so draw this curve again with this as a center this as a radius draw this curve most of the students have a tendency to draw this curve from the center please take care of this you need not to draw this curve from the center you need to draw from the intersection of these two lines after drawing this so height is clearly given it is 40 mm from the center you raise the axis height for 40 after raising this height so if you can clearly count here you can count 10 20 30 40 here or else what you can do is anyhow you have a grid sheet with you there you measure in a compass for 40 i'm clearly telling you please measure from the grid sheet only never use scale in this particular to measure because isometric scale is different and true scale dimension is different so after measuring this iso 40 from this center you mark then you draw a tangential line to this curve so after drawing this as i have clearly told the curved part is clearly visible the line which is somewhere here this curve is not visible what you can do is you can just erase this or else maintain with a thin line and this part can be erased or else can be maintained with a thin line so next after completing this problem you can also show this dimension this is iso 20 this is iso 80 and this is iso 40 now as i told this can be drawn with a thin line or it can be completely erased coming to the second question a cone of base diameter 50 and axis or a height is 60 mm is placed centrally on an equilateral triangle prism of side 100 mm and 20 mm thick draw the isometric projection here from this particular problem we know how to draw a cone whether the diameter can be 50 40 20 whatever it is and height can also be varied so here it is clearly given so in this particular problem this cone was placed on a square slab wherein here the cone has been placed on an equilateral triangular prism so now what you need to do is as i told when you solve the problem any basis other than a square or a box shape what you need to do is first draw the particular base for a given dimension so here you need not to worry about the edge or corner condition so after drawing this triangle we know how to draw an equilateral triangle so the dimension of this is 100 and this angle is 60 now first you enclose this in a box so after enclosing name this accordingly 1 2 3 and 4 next what you need to do is from 1 to 4 we have a dimension it is clearly known it is 100 mm next measure the dimension from 1 to 2 so if you measure you will get 86 mm so after this transfer this box somewhere here taking one point as a reference so from 1 to 2 it is 86 you can start counting 86 to the right side and mark 0.2 and 1 to 4 it is 100 you can start counting 10 20 30 40 so 100 and you can mark this after marking project this from proceed with these points again it is 86 to this side and from this point it is 100 you will meet with a common point draw this base part after joining all these lines so you will get this particular box we have transferred this particular box somewhere here now you need to draw a triangle inside have a look from 1 and 4 it is 100 we have already these two points of triangle next between 2 and 3 we have one point at the center so between 2 and 3 mark the center i join this with a continuous line that forms a triangle so after drawing this triangle so from all the corners 
the thickness it is given it is 20 mm so you start rising from all the corners 20 mm 20 mm 20 mm and join this with a continuous line so after completing this triangular prism so as i told the top face is clearly visible left side face and right side face is clearly visible what you can do is the line which is coming in between you can erase so after erasing this is how it looks some examiner expects to show the construction lines under such cases ensure you show all these with a thin line next the cone is centrally placed on this particular triangular slab remember you need to identify the center of this triangle so by joining the medians so you can easily find out the center so the center of this line is this point similarly you can take this line center or this line center anything is fine so join this with a very thin line again for this particular identify the center and join to this opposite corner so you will directly get a center after identifying the center one point you need to remember when you join a center the lines passing through these two should be parallel to this 30 degree line as well as this 30 degree line to proceed with so have a look this line passing through the center is exactly parallel to this 30 degree line it is accepted wherein this line is not parallel to this line under such cases what you need to do is just erase the line and ensure you retain the same center and draw one line that line should be parallel to this particular 30 degree line then you can easily proceed same as this particular problem now after identifying this center what is the diameter of that cone it is 50 mm from this as usual draw 25 25 25 25 if it is extending beyond this triangular prism you need not to worry about draw this and as I told don't join these points directly you should join such that the line should pass through these points and it should be parallel to 30 degree lines so after drawing this way as I told meet this opposite point join this with a thin line again meet these two points join with a thin line draw this arc with this as a center and from opposite this as a center you can draw again the intersection draw this again with this intersection draw this extend this height so what is the height of that it is 60 after extending that draw this tangential line so after drawing this when this curve path is clearly visible this part can be maintained with a thin line as well as this particular line passing that can be maintained with a thin line so after completing you can show this dimension it is 1 to 4 it is iso 100 so you can show this iso 100 mm next similarly this particular axis height so this is your iso 60 mm so if type if you have sufficient time you can show the all the dimensions also so this is iso 50 mm this completes your problem